Thank you very much. Um, I am speaking um, from the uh, Centre for Marine and Coastal Policy Research, um, and I should just say that I'm presenting work from across the um, centre. Um, it's not only uh, my work, and I haven't, in a five-minute presentation, got time to give everyone um, credit. So uh, if you've got any questions about it, if you can ask me or look on the website, you'll find more details about um, what we're doing. In our centre, um, we... Uh, work on a number of areas as given on the slide there, um, which are really interdisciplinary studies focusing on how we can integrate science into improved uh, policy and management of our, um, for our coastal and marine environments. In particular today, as has been said, I'm going to look at uh, marine ecosystem service valuation. Um, and just to sort of recap a little bit on um, what Paul was saying, um, when we look at uh, a harbour like this, this sort of picture is Gronville in um, northern France, um, we see fishing as a, a very obvious um, uh, key ecosystem. And when we look at something like this, we would also think, well, tourism um, is likely to be an important element on such a, an attractive seafront as well. But these are not the only um, services that we might have. The natural environment provides more. And so if we look at this picture here with... Um, Solcombe, and uh, this is so, um, Solcombe Harbour. Again, we see the, the, the boats, which would be fishing, recreation, that sort of thing. But also looking beyond that, we see the fields, they've been ploughed, they're obviously going to grow crops and, and um, grass. There's going to be nutrients applied to that. Those nutrients, which might be inorganic or, 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 um, or, or in or in organic or inorganic form um, will lead to a um, certain amount of nutrient runoff um, and that could impact on the um, coastal waters. However, within the mud underlying this estuary, the um, sediment will provide the supporting service, as, as was um, discussed before by um, uh, Paul, of recycling a certain amount of the nutrients which would otherwise cause problems. So when we look at the uh, mud, um, as you see here, this is the... Uh, Gulf de Morbihan, um, the, the mud, I mean, it may not look great. Some people like it. Some people definitely don't like the, the look of mud. Um, but it, it, it deals with, in inverted commas, nutrients to a certain extent and provides many other services besides things like primary production, um, acting as a fish nursery, providing bird food, etc. It's, it's like a powerhouse for um, the, the ecosystem. So I want to talk in brief about three projects that we have um, been involved with recently. Um, the first one is uh, uh, looking at our, our report, which was looking at the requirements for um, application of a, an ecosystem service approach to the marine... Uh, ecosystem service valuation approach to the marine environment. The second one is research into um, how you apply ecosystem services um, in the marine environment. Again, they're all in the marine environment. And the third one is exploring the implications of ecosystem services for policy implementation. So the first one was for this foundation called the Calus Gulbenkian Foundation. It's a Portuguese foundation. Um, it's got an office in the UK. Um, it's, a, it's sort of, they've got a lovely aim. They want to improve people's perception of one another. Um, they want to assist the most disadvantaged in society in fulfilling their potential, and they want to help develop um, a society which benefits um, from a more sustainable relationship with their natural world. So they really want to, to, to do good. That's how they, that's how they <coughs> describe themselves. Um, and... So our report was um, done for them with the, the, the aim um, of the report was to see how, um, as a foundation, they could help society to, to um, improve the way that they used valuation of marine ecosystem services within decision making. Um, so we did a report um, which was entitled uh, Marine Ecosystem Service um, Valuation, a Proposal for Action. And um, that was based on a literature review, interviews with a, a number of experts, and, and um, on workshops as well. And through that, we identified a number of um, issues and challenges which uh, were uh, causing problems, as it were, in the, in the application of this approach. And the key challenges that we identified um, include... Um, are a lack of knowledge about the ecosystems, about the actual fundamental ecosystems, as well as a lack of knowledge about the associated services. 
A need for interdisciplinary working, so looking at econo economists and ecologists working together. But more than that, it needs the, the social scientists to be involved in this debate as well, because not everything can be valued in economic terms, and that's something which has come through very clearly. And then we also had um, uh, found there were issues with how this could be applied um, in terms of a governance framework, su framework such as um, marine planning or something similar. And these are the things that we are exploring in uh, the Valmer project. This is an interreg project with 11 partners, um, including um, research institutes, local authorities and um, universities on both sides of the Western um, Channel. We're using a, a case study approach. The case studies are marked there with little red dots. Um, and for each of those case studies, what we're identifying um, specific activities or features and then exploring the, um, the uh, ecosystem services associated with that. And then based on scenarios, we'll ask stakeholders to, to, to identify scenarios and then we can value those scenarios um, and, and able to then determine how best to, to integrate that information into the decision-making process and find out if it has helped them with the decision-making. And so when we look at something like this, this is Lou, which is in one of our um, case studies in the, the South Cornwall case study. Um, we can see the boats, we can see fishing, recreation, and we think, okay, those will be the um, economic activities in the area. But we're also looking at the non-economic activities, and so we're thinking of using the framework of seascape analysis to help us explore um, the, the, the um, things like quality of life that might also be important um, and engendered by living on or, or, or near the coast, or even just by visiting the coast, um, were you to come in on a cruise liner as they have there um, to the Dart Harbour. Um, local estuaries are just desperate to get um, cruise liners in, and they see that as very, very valuable. Um, there's a lot of pictures like that around. So the final um, uh, study that we did, or was done within our um, group, this is not one that I was involved with, uh, sorry, that was um, really looking at exploring the implications of different policy choices and the role that ecosystem services valuation could play within that. It was a report done for the Wildlife Trust and it was entitled Securing the Benefits of the Marine Conservation Zone Network. You perhaps know there's been a, a debate about Marine Conservation no Zone Network over the last um, couple of years and, and you can see the conclusions of the report there. Thank you very much. Right.